Hey guys, I wanted to give you guys a very easy way of waking up out of your lucid dreams if your lucid dream has gone astray and you're encountering like negative entities and nightmarish type scenarios. It can be very scary when you find yourself in these dreams which don't even really feel like dreams, do they? They feel like you're actually in other realms and, and these be because there's such an endless possibility there's there's like a, such a vastness to actual reality these realms there's so many different realms there you could possibly pop into in your dream state and some of them yes they, some of them are very scary and negative okay and in my opinion they're merely a projection of our own fears and we are aligning with these realms for a reason however with that said if you don't know how to wake up out of them then it, it, it can be terrifying to even go to sleep. I found myself many years ago when I first started to kind of wake up consciously, I, I found myself every single time I fell asleep, I would lapse into these, these, horrible, these horrible, scary ass, not even dreams. Again, they were lucid dreams that truly seemed like I was popping in to other realms inhabited by like uh, lower dimensional demonic entities. And whenever I would pop in there, they would notice me and they'd fucking, they would come for me. And I've had them do some sick shit. I remember one time I had like a, a false wake up. You ever have a false wake up? A false wake up is where you kind of, you, you wake up and you think you're wide awake, um, but really you're in your dream. And when you wake up, these false wake ups, you wake up in your own room, in your own bed, everything's the same, but, but you're still dreaming. I had that one time. I woke up, I, I had a false wake up. And I look over and there's this fucking gross looking, scary, like negative entity guy, like it's an astral being. And he's like got his legs wrapped around my belly, like in a scissors way, like a, like a, like a, like a jujitsu lock. And he's like got his tongue, he's licking the inside of my ear. You know, what the fuck? And I, I, I couldn't move, I couldn't scream. I was like stuck there. Well, this motherfucker was licking the inside of my ear. And this might sound like wackiness to anyone who has not truly experienced these types of dreams, but many of you have. If you're watching this, there's a good chance you have. And it's no joke. You wake up and you're like, what the fuck just happened? Like, what the f What is going on? And then it's like, again, I was having a period where every time I fell asleep, I was going into these. I was terrified. I was, I was like keeping myself awake for days. It was a, it was a nightmare. Until I learned this one little trick to wake up from any lucid dream, which I'm gonna tell you right now, enough beating around the bush. Wiggle your pinky toe. Wiggle it. Wiggle your pinky toe, and you will like climb out of the different dream layers and in, into where you're finally awake. Okay? It's as simple as that. I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I could tell you to like uh, touch your nose. Maybe it's just because I believe this little technique works, it actually does work. But for whatever reason, it does work. Maybe because it connects you to your body. Again, I have no idea. I read about it a long time ago when I was going through this and didn't really know where to turn. I, I just happened to find an article or a video or something that mentioned this. And my God, it worked beautifully. Okay, it worked amazingly well every single time. It's never once failed me to wake up. So I hope that helps you guys. Understand there's a purpose to these types of dreams you're having. I have come to realize that they have just been nothing more than projections of my own fear. And when I can get into these dreams and remind myself to not be afraid, it doesn't unfold in a negative way. And actually, a lucid dream can be a blessing because that's what happened to me. I, once I learned that I had more control of the dream than I thought. I learned I could just escape. I could just fly away and pop into other realms. Other realms more like where I would actually want to visit. More blissful realms where I felt good and you know had like o overlooked a lot of beautiful scenery and whatnot. Okay, but I just wanted to share this little tip because in the in the time if you're going through this phase, it can be very scary. But having this little like uh, tool in your tool belt where you can just wake up whenever you want at will by wiggling your pinky toe is, was certainly helpful to me. So I wanted to share that. Thank you for listening. Sweet dreams.